Hi everyone! I made this silly and cute dressing video so that people out there who are struggling with dressing milestones can hopefully benefit from this video. Before I get started, just make sure to note that depending on the source you use, the numbers and the context of the information might range. And I covered what I felt was the most important to differentiate between the years 1 through 6. So at 1, I called a 1-year-old a cooperative one. So a cooperative one-year-old knows how to cooperate while dressing. So with help, they can push their arms through a shirt or their legs through pants, and they also know how to remove their socks as well. At the age of two, I called it paired two. And this is really easy for me to remember because at the age of two, a two-year-old can help remove untied shoes, pull down pants, doff a coat, which means take off a coat, and also locate the armholes of a shirt. So if you look at everything that they can help assist with, it comes in pairs. So not only is the number two a pair, but so are shoes, pants, coats, and shirts. So that was easy for me to remember, and they also kind of start more distally, so pants, shoes, everything at the bottom. Now three is a really big year. There are so many things happening for a three-year-old, especially with their fine motor skills. So I call three fine motor three. At three, a child is able to zip and unzip zippers with setup. So as long as they have it aligned for them at the bottom of the zipper, they're able to pull it up or down. For visual aid, I drew a big number three as a zipper and also a very large button because a three-year-old can typically unbutton large buttons. They can also don or put on a pullover and also put on shoes. I'm also going to give three and a half a shout out because three and a half year olds are advancing their fine motor skills even more before they hit four. So at three and a half, children are able to manage snaps, hooks, and they're also able to differentiate front and back. Moving on to a four-year-old, I called the four buckle at four, and I drew a picture of a buckle with the number four in it as a visual aid. And the reason I did this was because children at four learn how to buckle buckles. Also, if you really can't remember it, you can remember that a buckle has four distinct sides to it, so a child will learn how to buckle buckles at the age of four. They're also still advancing their fine motor skills from three, so they can zip and unzip independently at this point, and they can also remove pullovers. Moving on to my favorite, five is my favorite number, and I just had fun making this one up. I called five the naughty five, and I made the end of my number five into like a little knot almost, because at five, children learn how to tie and untie knots. And this is perfect because that's going to help them transition to tying shoes at the age of six. At five, they also learn how to dress without supervision. So at this point, they are becoming quite independent in their dressing skills. Last but not least, we are at the year six. So six, I called kicks at six. Kicks is another way of referring to shoes. So this is perfect because a six-year-old knows how to tie bows and also tie shoes. And I drew a little converse here with the laces all tied up and a nice big bow on top. So that's the end of my dressing video. I hope this was helpful. I feel like once it's condensed and laid out like this, it's so much easier to retain. So I encourage you to draw pictures, make silly mnemonic devices, do whatever you need to to help you remember this content. Good luck with your studies. I'm sure you're doing fine. Pace yourselves, but also take rest breaks and... Take care of yourself most importantly. I will catch you next time. Bye!